as she gave it to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This time I'm going to call, I'm going to put the remaining of the service into none other than Apostle Haynes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Apostle Haynes, the church, the church, Apostle Haynes. Praise the Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, give him, give him, give him a big praise. Come on, give him a big praise. Hallelujah. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, give him something extra. Come on, give him something that you had been reserved. Come on, tap into that reservoir. Amen. And take out that part of the praise that you have in reserve. Come on, let it go, let it go, let it go. Come on, give him everything. Come on, every fiber of your being, every breath that you breathe. Come on, give him a high note of praise. Come on, let heaven know that you are still alive. Let earth know that you are still alive. Let hell know that you are still alive. Come on, open your mouth and let a high note of praise come off your lips come on and give him praise give him praise give him praise in spite of it all give him praise no matter what it seem like no matter what it look like you gotta praise on the inside come on let him know that praise is who I am and praise is what I do for when the praises goes up the blessing will come down hallelujah thank you Jesus Glory to God. Amen. You can sit down in the presence of our God. Amen. I come to preach a message this morning, but the Holy Ghost spoke to me. I shall title my message, Let It Go. Glory to God. And the Holy Ghost shall go down into the book and give you everything and let it go. Glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody said hallelujah. Somebody said hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Thank God for this privilege. Amen. To have. Amen. Among us today. None other than Archbishop Abraham. Amen. MD. Just like Abraham of the Bible. Amen. And you know that if you carry that name. You have to be a person of faith. Somebody say faith. Glory to God. Amen. MD in the house and also she is uh, the director of My King's TV network worldwide. Amen. So you guys' faces is going to be showing worldwide. They're going to see you in Africa. They're going to see you. Amen. All part of the world, your face are going to be showing up. Glory to God and Tabernacle Church are going to be showing up. And I want you to make sure you come back tonight. Uh, Archbishop will be preaching tonight and tonight amen after I finish she will give you some instruction what are going to take place in this service tonight don't miss this service amen praise God so I'm going to run real fast because I feel hot somebody say hot somebody say hot 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 glory to God so I'm going to run and I'm going to title the message uh, according to this song that just played a while ago it have changed amen the course of my message I'm gonna title it let it go so turn your Bible with me to amen Genesis chapter 50 glory to God and I will be just releasing and let the Holy Ghost have his way and today because I feel so good Amen. That the world is going to hear what take place. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody said amen. amen. Thank you. And if you find it, let us read from the first verse of Genesis chapter 50. And we are going to see the father that tell Joseph, let it go. So we don't title the message, let it go. Glory to God. Amen. And it reads thus, And Joseph fell upon his father's face, and wept upon him, and he kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servant, the physician, to embalm his father, and the physician embalmed Israel. And forty days were fulfilled for him, for so are fulfilled the days of those which are embalmed 
and the Egyptian mourned for him three score and ten days. And when the days of his mourning were past, Joseph spake unto the house of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found grace in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die in my grave which I have dig for me in the land of Canaan, there shall thou bury me. Now therefore let me go up, I pray thee, and bury my father, and I will come again. And Pharaoh said, and, and Pharaoh said Go up and bury thy father, according as he has made thee swear. And Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt, and all the house of Joseph, and his brother, and his father's house, only their little ones, and their flocks, and their herds, they left in the land of Goshen. And there went up with him both chariots and horsemen, and it was a very great company. And they came to the threshing floor of Atal, which is beyond Jordan. And there they mourned with a great, very sore lamentation. And he made a mourning for his father seven days. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning in the floor of Atal, they said, This is a grievous mourning to the Egyptian, wherefore the name of it was called Abel Mizraim, which is beyond Jordan. And his sons did unto him according as he commanded them. For his sons carried him into the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Machpelah, which Abraham brought with the field for a possession of a burying place of Ephron the Hittite before Mamre. And Joseph returned into Egypt, he and his brethren and all that went up with him to bury his father, after he had buried his father. And when Joseph's brethren saw their father was dead, they said, Joseph, will peradventure hate us and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall he say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of thy brethren. Let us pray. Mighty good and most merciful Father, we thank you, we praise you, we adore you. We magnify you as Lord, we magnify you as God. Mighty God, you sit in the highest of the highest. Mighty God, move in the lowest of the lowest. Move in the heart of your son and your daughter. Bring about healing, miracles, shine and wonder. Touch my eyes, O God, that I may see what thou see. Touch my lips, that I may prophesy what you prophesy. Mighty God, move in this place. Let your cloud, your glory cloud, rest upon this place like you never rest upon it before. And mighty God, our expectation of you is very high. We are looking to see you move in your majesty, move in your divinity and your glory, move in your power in the life of your people. And mighty God, we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name name. Amen. Praise God. We are going to run here a little. Amen. And talk. I like that song that just played a while ago and we know that this is a situation that is affecting not only the church but is affecting evil society amen even in the street and my God and homes are being destroyed by this spirit praise God this spirit evil rise to great prominence evil praise God in the head of government 
you find the spirit that are there that my God you find out that there is no unity praise God you find out that instead of unity you have division praise God and things are just chaotic and uh, people are killing people husband and wife are not uh, seeing eye to eye they are not speaking peaceably with each other they are not evil as close uh, to one another as God will have them to be Amen. So this is a situation that the church must look into and deal with this matter because, amen, the enemy is rejoicing and the enemy, praise God, are, are looking like he's on the winning post. Amen. I want you to know that many of us, we have gone through things in our life. Amen. From our upbringing, we have seen things evil in our household. We have seen parents that is a and drugs and parents that is an alcohol and parents that have no peace among themselves evil in the household instead of the household be a place of laughter and a place of joy the household have become a war zone where battle has been fought and the children are seeing what's going on and the children are saying within themselves I cannot invite my friend to my house because I don't want Want my friend to come and see a place where battle has been fought. Amen. And no peace is uh, is in my house. Glory to God. And it is amen the cause of unforgiveness. So we looked in this passage of scripture. And we see a young man, praise God, have not done anything to deserve what he have gone through. But, amen, I want you to feel good about yourself. And knowing that you don't do anything to deserve some things that you are going through. But just remember that you were born in sin and you were shaping in iniquity. And the cause of your problem, it is sin, praise God. And God wants you to know that uh, he forgive you, but you have to forgive yourself. Uh, uh, if you don't forgive yourself, uh, you will open the door, uh, amen, and allow the enemy to come with his demon. Uh, amen, even seven more demons, more wicked uh, oh, than himself to come into your house uh, and to destroy your house. So uh, you find out uh, that every member of your body is decreasing. Uh, every member of your your body is in bondage every member of your body is in pain and agony and you find out that it detour evil your focus because if the enemy gets your mind the enemy gets your whole being why because the bible says so a man think it or so is he so if you are thinking about your past him and you are no better than your past and you cannot see your way in into your future. So the Bible said, any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. God wants uh, to look at you as a new you. You have a, a new walking and a new talking, a new thinking, a new thought. Glory to God. How you got to let yourself know that you are not going to be the victim him of your past, but you are going to be the victor of your present. Ah, oh, somebody hearing me, I'm not going to let my past dictate into my future. For the Lord said, I know the thoughts that I think are oh, towards you. It is a thought of peace and not of evil to give you a bright hope and a bright future. Somebody turned to your neighbor and said, my future is bright. I pass the test of my past and my past cannot dictate in my future because I give God my past and God take my past and put it in the sea of forgetfulness he has put it as far as the east from the west if you want to go and look for it it is up to you but I say bye bye world I am gone I say my yesterday is past and my tomorrow praise God it may not be mine but as long as I'm in my today I'm going to rejoice
rejoice. What is my rejoice? I'm free at last. Somebody say free at last. I'm no longer bound and no chains are holding me. You know, let me take my time and let me just cool down a little and get to somewhere. Glory to God in your spirit. Now we looked at uh, Yemen, this young man here, Joseph, uh, and we find out that the hands of God uh, is up on his life, uh, and God chose him out of his family uh, to use him greatly and to place his glory up on his life. Uh, and it so happened that it creates a jealousy, him and evil among his family. Ah, oh, glory to God. But I want you not to think of this as something strange. For the Bible said, if it was an enemy, I would have hid myself from my enemy. But it's my own familiar, my acquaintance, and my friends. Glory to God. And them that I walk into the house of God with, oh, them that kept holy days, I take communion with them. I praise and I worship. And and I pray, praise God with them. Those are the one that will rise up. They're healed. Oh, praise God against me. And the Bible said, the war begins in your house. Oh, for a man enemy is them of his own household. Oh, so there is nothing new under the sun. Oh, it is something to perfect you, make you, establish you, settle you, and perfected you and let you know that you are on a journey praise God to your victory and to your success you have to learn to master your life you have to learn how to master your living up on the earth for the earth is your avenue to the kingdom you all praise God your the earth is your pilgrim passage to the place where God has for you that's why the Bible said that you and I are just a pilgrim and we are passing through. But while you are going through, I want you to know that in your journey you will have some stones. In your journey you will have some rough place. In your journey you will have some crooked place. In your journey you will have some dark place. In your journey you will have some mountain. But I want you to know that there is a way that is paved for you and that way is Jesus. For he said I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life. I want you to know that he will not allow you to stumble. He will not allow you to fall over a rock. Why? Because the word is a lamp and put my feet and a light in my pathway. So God has made my way bright and clear so I can see clearly now where I am going. I cannot be stopped. Turn to your neighbor and say, I cannot be stopped. Mm, praise God. Mm, but Joseph have gone through something here. And you find out that the jealousy arose. It arose so grievously that there's a plan enters the mind of people that does not understand your purpose and your destiny. And they become so jealous at Joseph that they made a plan and said we got to kill him. We can look at read of him. I want to know that when you are highly favored of God, I said the enemy is planning oh, to destroy you, to stop you, and to destroy you. But I want to let you know that you cannot be stopped. You cannot be deported. Or oh, turn to your neighbor and say, Father, whatever. I'm on my way oh, to Canaan lands. I shall go oh, to the pearly gate. I don't care if there's a Jabu site. I don't care if there's a Canaanite. I don't care if there's a parasite. I hear the Lord said, I have already destroyed them. And I'm giving you safe passage. Or to go into your Canaan. A place that is flowing with milk. And a place that is flowing with honey. Turn to your neighbor. I say lose the battle. But win the war. Oh glory to God. For the battle is not yours. But it belongs to God. Your hand is too short. Oh, to box with God. He 